Joining us on the Heaster Automotive Group hotline, it's the governor of North Carolina, Roy Cooper, the biggest of hugest caniacs here on 99.9 The Fan. And you're going to be sounding the siren on Friday at the Fan Fest. I have that right? You do. I, I, about 11, 11.30. I know there won't be that many people out there by then, but and it, it'll probably be raining a little bit. A little but, bit. A but, little bit. But, but it is going to be a fantastic weekend that that'll sort of kick it off mm -hmm. and you know, it's time for North Carolina to show off a little bit we we can have the the spotlight on us yeah, so I was gonna I'm ask excited. you is is sounding the siren in the rain a, a little bit of a price to pay for absolutely gorgeous weather if that rain just comes through on Friday and that's, that's all we have to deal with it's going to be gorgeous on Saturday that's what we want we want a perfect Saturday should be great for tailgating that afternoon i thought i might walk around some of the tailgate parties that afternoon and then the temperature will drop a little bit in the evening the ice should be perfect mm -hmm. it's going to be a fantastic night i'm looking forward to it roy cooper is the governor of north carolina he is a second favorite roy on this program though um it's okay i, I I'm, I'm i'm okay with that You've been looking forward to this as a Canes fan, but you mentioned as a showcase for the state of North Carolina and and for the capital here and for NC State. Just what does it mean to finally see it come to light after, you know, it feels like three or four years of planning? Yeah, you know, we've been talking about this for a long time, and I remember being over here at the governor's mansion with uh, Gary Bettman and Tom Dundon and Waddell, and we were uh, telling them how we could help put on a great show for the NHL. Uh, I think we were getting close then, but then we had COVID and, and all of the things that uh, delayed us. But I think we are more ready than ever for this. And I think the fans have been looking forward to it for a long time. And if we can get 55, 60,000 people in there screaming their heads off, hmm. it should be a fun night. And, and maybe uh, we can pull off another – capitals went the ovechkin less yes. capitals we might be able to to take that on i'm going to assume you're going to be outside for this game saturday oh, night as far as i know okay yes <laughs> so you know i i i would um what's your I'd layer count be, i'd love to be beating on the glass yeah uh, yeah, that, yeah i don't know if anybody maybe, will be but yeah i don't think it'd be maybe, they will maybe not me. even you i mean you can pull some strings but What's yeah, your, what's your they layer have the, count? Do they ha I haven't seen the seats. Do they have the seats away from the ice? Do we have anybody actually right on the ice? Normally they don't for these. No, but. so my okay. understanding. I didn't my think they did. And uh, Governor Roy Cooper joining us here on the OG alongside Joe Giglio. I'm Joe Ovias. I was out at Carter-Finley Stadium earlier today to get my credential. And the way that they have the, the ice set up in the middle of the field, they're gonna, there's going to be some standing room only, but it'll be around a stage that's in one of okay. the end zones. The end zone is closest to the Murphy Center. And as far as you know, actual sight lines from the stadium seats, it's a, it's a small spot compared to some of the bigger places they've been, and there's some pretty good sight lines. So I'll be curious uh, to good. see where you're at. Although Julia wants to know, like, yeah. how it's going to be 40 degrees. I need, I, need, I need a layer count, and then I have a joke yeah. or, or a jab at you. Well, I'm, you know, I'll put on two pairs of socks for sure. Smart. And it, yeah. And I'll just have my regular Canes gear. I may just carry a, a, a parka just in case. I, you know, I, I plan to be up and down a lot. I think it's going to be a lot of scoring. I'm going to be a lot of fist pumping. So I may not, I just may not need a whole lot of warmth because I can generate that myself. Working up a sweat. I think exactly. that's awesome. Yeah, be prepared. Have the layers. Make sure your parking's taken care of. But for you, it's going to be really strange. You're going to be at Carter Finley Stadium. This is the first time you'll be rooting for the home team. How's that going to feel for you? <laughs> <laughs> so I went to the very first, I think, athletic contest in Carter Finley Stadium when I was a little kid. The then Washington Redskins and the New York Giants in a preseason game. Mm -hmm. which was like fantasy come true for me. Yeah. I forgot how old I was, but I think it was the very first game in Carter Finley stadium. And I remember we got there very, very early, but talk about traffic. And they're talking about, I remember just seeing lights coming and by halftime, not everybody <laughs> had even gotten into the stadium, 
by by that point. And I'd expected to to see Sonny Jurgensen and Charlie Taylor and all those guys. And of course, it was a preseason game, so we we didn't get to see many of the stars. But that was fun. So. That's my first game. And I know you're trying to get me to, yeah. you're always trying to get me to hate on Duke. Yes. You're always trying yeah. to get me to hate on the Wolf. No, no, no. I, I know it's and, not hate. Just, just rep your team, man. Repping, repping look, at that, look at the tie anyway. Yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah, you do have well, to, for I, those who are listening on radio, <laughs> you're wearing a Carolina blue tie. <laughs> Let me just say, uh, and, and, and obvious, you, uh, somebody sent me a social media while you were being a wiseacre, a picture of me at the Duke Carolina game in Cameron saying, yeah. Oh, it must be NHL All-Star Weekend. Okay, I, I am not a one-trick pony. I am not a one-trick pony. Okay, yes, I love hockey. Come on, man. But I'm at the Carolina Duke game. I haven't completely abandoned my ACC fandom and basketball and football. You yeah, know, gonna, that was just I'm going to ha- I'm gonna have to text. I'm going to have to text Paul. Uh, I'm sure he's the one who sent you that tweet. No, that was more of a that was more of praise for you being the hardest of hardcore yeah. hockey fans. That clearly you can look the Kings at it are not way. in town. You can you look actually at it decided way. to attend a Duke Carolina game, which gets us to Sunday mm. because this is a whole weekend. Right. We got yeah, uh, we, we got NC State and Carolina women tonight. Uh, we got Hootie and the Blowfish tomorrow, obviously the game Saturday, and then State Carolina, the men play on Sunday, followed by a club hockey game on Monday night, which is free for everybody. How many of these events do you plan on? Are you going to be in PNC for the basketball game on Sunday? I plan to be right now, yes. I, pr- I plan to see Burns backing down Baycott and doing his little left hook shot. <laughs> Uh, numerous times until While he you finally decide to double team him. And then when we double team him, he'll hit the streaking guard in for the layup. So it may be a long afternoon for us. Okay. So, All right. See, now that, but, that but pronoun yeah, I, usage. I do plan to be there. There was the us. That pronoun usage, I'm considering a victory. After all of these years of trying to get you to just say, the obvious that you're a double Tar Heel. It's fine, man. Nobody, nobody I, dislikes it for I, you. I never have problem with that. You want me, though, to it, put down the other thing. <laughs> Admit you hate Duke. How many times have you said that to me over the years? That, yeah, on that air? was my final four mission. That yeah, was my final I, I, four. It didn't happen. I didn't, didn't happen. happen. You know, it really should be that. a great game because we, we played really well against NC State in mm-hmm. Chapel Hill. And the the guards, the North Carolina State's guards, they, they got – they got um, they got tricked out of the Syracuse win the other night. That's unfortunate for NC State. That's a nice way to put it. Yeah, is there, is yeah. there like a governor? Is there like a. Yeah, um, can you do something about is that? Is there some sort of governor's action you can uh, say, hey, 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 let's. Uh, I guess it didn't happen in the state, therefore you can't declare nah, yeah. any sort of declaration, right? Believe me, I've looked into all of that and uh, <laughs> it would have been done Just long to... ago had, had I had that authority. Just say that Burt Smith can't work another NC State game. I don't think Carolina fans want to see him either. Yeah, probably not. You you could win that one both ways. Maybe. Maybe. (laughs) Roy Cooper, Governor of North Carolina, joining us here on the OG. Okay, so to to back on on a serious note about this stadium series event, and as you said, this is a – a marquee event for the state of North Carolina, a marquee event for this area, which means a lot to you. And do you find it as both a representative of the state and as a sports fan, almost not insulting, but kind of when you talk to Gary Bettman or others around the NHL, we do these events, every event related to hockey in this area, whether it's the Stanley cup and how we show out for that and Eastern conference finals, we show out for that. Uh, I remember one of the first things that I did was work the draft, the NHL draft at PNC Arena. They were very impressed with that turnout. The All-Star Game in 2011, everybody loved it. We do these events really, really well. Why do you think we just don't kind of, it? not impress, but just it's, it's solidified. This is a hockey market. Treat it like a hockey yeah. market. Yeah, you know, I think that's the challenge of most small market uh hockey teams and really any professional team when you have a smaller market and particularly non-traditional uh north carolina is not a traditional hockey market so there, there's a little bit of uh i don't want to call it sanctimonious but you, you know it, it, it's people who are look look down on the, the the newer teams i don't think uh commissioner bettman does that at all i think that they are looking at the dollar signs here uh we're going to generate 12.4 million to our economy. Uh, I think they want 
the hockey market expanded into areas like this all over the, the country. So I think that's why you're seeing the outdoor game here. I agree with you. The all-star game, the NHL all-star game was fantastic. It was for amazing. Them. And we yeah. did, we really rolled out the red carpet for them. And, you know, I mentioned to uh, the hurricanes guys the other day, I, we really ought to make another run at that soon because I think that, this is the perfect kind of play. Charlotte did the NBA All All Star Game uh, in a great way down there. So, I think it's important for us to continue to to push that, drive the narrative. I do think sports. You and I have talked about this many times. I do think sports helps to uh, put money in the pockets of North Carolinians. It helps stimulate our economy because when people, let's face it, when when CEOs make decisions, they want to look at where they're going to live and what kind mm -hmm. of place they're going to be. And if, if they see all kinds of amenities like, like theater and arts and sports, uh, parks, things to do, great schools, it's going to be a part, it's part and parcel of the whole package that North Carolina is. So I think, I think this is an important part of it. I just happen to love it a whole lot, as you know. Can't wait to make our uh, Sweet 16 Final Four picks, Scuff. Looking forward to it. I got so, you this time. I got to get you this time, man. Yeah, he's been studying. I, I, he's it's hanging on my wall, man. Yeah. It's hanging on my wall. I know. I was wrong. Julia. No, you were right. You were you right. You were right. He was wrong. <laughs> I don't have he to say wrong. it. I can just say you were right. Isn't that enough? Yes. You're yes. saying you were right, but what it meant was <laughs> – I was wrong. That is what I see when I see it. Julia is admitting wrong. I was wrong. And hey, I man. gave him a lot of grief. And Watch that boomerang. He really now. turned the tables on Watch me. Watch that boomerang See now. <laughs> See what happens in March. And he has, he has, well, I'm not going to go there because, you know, this, that's my career after my, my career as a public servant. I'm coming after sports analysis, analysts. Hey, and come on down. Hey, we're I'm, ready for I'm ready. ready. Gold, gold's getting on, ready man. to retire. You can get that new to three. So is he now? No, no, no. no gold, gold's gonna, gold's gonna be in the retirement home giving <laughs> yeah. us hockey takes. Come on, Gov, you know that. I, I saw that you guys. I hadn't seen it, but you guys had talked to Jerry Markovich about who sat with me. Yes. at a hockey game. Yeah, you know, he, Adam Gold sat with me at a hockey game. I know he. Has he didn't write a long about article it. about me. Mm. Well, he doesn't have great. What's the award that Jeremy's won? That uh, you're jealous of? Best in sports writing. Best yeah. American sports writing. Best American. Kidding? Yeah. Jeremy's good people. He's great people. Yeah. Yeah, that was a, that was fun. That was really Roy, fun. Roy Cooper, Governor, North Carolina. We will see you at the game on Saturday, and we'll maybe see no, we you at PNC Arena on Sunday. Maybe we'll see you in March, Cooper. Can't wait. I'm ready for you, Joe. I'm ready for you in March. I'm ready. <laughs>